This video is going to show you how to create some sounds using the basic setup we've provided in the file session 1 on the module home page. So if you've loaded that session you should be looking at the interface as is here. This is the virtual instrument that comes with Pro Tools called Expand 2 and it's a synthesizer with literally hundreds of different settings, patches as they're called, of various sound effects and instruments. We've got an instrument track defined as well and so when we play our keyboard then depending on the patch we've selected we'll get various sounds which we can then record and export them to an audio file. So what I'm going to do now is just to close the window of the virtual instrument. If you want to bring it back at any point just click that expand name that's inserted into the track and it will come back one click close down, open and so on. So I'm going to close that window down and on my MIDI keyboard I've got my bass notes here and my treble notes here and my middle range notes here and the patch that we've included for you has two zones to the keyboard. We've got a bass riff and a treble synth sound. Here's the bass riff. The notes I'm going to play are this one this one and this one. This note here is C. C is always the first white note before the two black notes. So we've got two black notes here, there's C, two black notes here, there's C and so on. So that represents an octave apart between each one of those C's. So there's one octave, two octaves. So here's the bass rift. <laughs> I can play the same notes for the synth lead. This note, this note, and this note. I can also vary it by playing this note as well. And similarly for the lead. So I can play these notes together and I can use the modulation wheel to filter out these notes here, the lead notes. Right, if I want to record what I'm playing, I need to what's called arm the track for recording, and that means clicking this little button there, and it turns red and flashes, indicating it's armed to record the track. And then enable in the transport window here, enable the record, and finally click play. And we get regions coming out here indicating that this is now in record mode, so anything I play on the keyboard will be recorded. stop and now that recording if I'm happy with it would be ready to export to an audio file a WAV file or an mp3 and that's the topic of the next video